Good afternoon, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It is Tuesday, August 1st, 2006, and the market is just closed here, so let's take a look at the action. I've got the S&P 500 spiders up here on the screen right now, and it looks like that 128 level was indeed some resistance, at least for now. And the market continues, I think, to give us some mixed signals in here. It broke down, you know, initially and, and acted uh, pretty weak for most of the session, but then towards the end of the day, we saw a nice little rally in here. So I don't know what that really means, but the market did get back above that rising five-day moving average. So perhaps we're just going to turn sideways for a little bit here and then maybe look to break out past this 128 level. As I had noted, uh, noted yesterday, the OEX, the S&P 100, had broken out past its uh, level that it would be similar to the 128 level on the S&P 500 and it pulled back down to that level and actually found some support in there. That's the OEX right now up on the screen. Let's take a look at the SPY again. But what I think we so, we're starting to see happen in here is we've now got the the 200 day moving average again looking like it's acting as support in here. So that's a positive obviously and we've also got the market above the 10, 20 and 50 day moving average. Further uh, I like the fact that the 10-day moving average is advancing. That's above the 20-day moving average. And it's uh, the 20-day moving average is above the 50-day moving average. And the 50-day moving average has started to flatten out. So it tells me that we've transitioned, I think, from a period of a, a real decline in the, in the market to more of an accumulative uh, stage that might lead to potentially to a breakout. We definitely have to keep our mind open to that. Uh, looking at the NASDAQ, of course, the NASDAQ 100, QQQQ, we're still in this much worse downtrend here. And the 37 uh, and a quarter or so level did act as resistance in there. And we didn't get the same type of bounce in the NASDAQ 100 as we did in the S&P. So the NASDAQ continues to underperform relative to the S&P 500. It came down and found some support at this level here at about 36 and a quarter. So I think that level is going to be very important going forward for the next few sessions. Um, we definitely want to keep an eye on that. Breaking below this level here, I think this move that we're seeing right now could fail. One potential here on this hourly, or I'm sorry, on the 10 minute time frame for the cues is that we put in a right shoulder and then do break down. So we're getting all kinds of mixed signals from the market where we've got an S&P 500 that's looking, you know, starting to look like we could make a pretty good bullish case for it. I'm not going to say it looks bullish, but it it could turn bullish very easily in here, whereas the Nasdaq's breaking down. And you look at uh, Google, for instance. Google looks like it's definitely broken uh, in here right now. If we look at a weekly time frame, we can see that this trend line is definitely potentially going to come into play right in here. That could bring the stock down to about 360 or so, uh, probably testing these lows uh, from from back in the uh, – uh, May in middle of May area. So I don't think that Google's in any danger of a larger, you know, real severe breakdown, but it is, you know, been in this little pattern in here. A lot of people have been focusing on this triangle. It broke that, but I think this larger trend line and the uh, 362 level, 360 level is going to be probably pretty significant for Google in here, but that's still 13 points away. And the stock saw, you know, one of the larger declines that it's had in quite a while as it broke down through that 380 level. And, um, you know, Google is not the market, but it has been important, so we have to keep our eye on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stocks we've been mentioning recently. First of all, we're going to look at Charter Communications, symbol CHTR. We got involved in this one yesterday at $1.28. I suggest you raise your stop to $1.26. You should have been stopped out with a two-penny loss in that stock, so very small loss. Time to move on. JCOM, uh, J2 Global Corporate Communication. I think it's today that they have earnings due out after the close, or maybe that was tomorrow. I don't know. But the point is here, um, we had raised our stop. We got in yesterday at 27.70 and uh, raised our stop to 27.85. That stop got hit right near the open, so you should have been out of this stock with a small gain, and I won't continue to update that one as well. Next, we had looked at AHS, Apple Henry... Sam, I guess, uh, probably bad call letters. But anyways, we're looking to get involved in this stock on some strength above the 2270 level. Obviously, we had a gap down in the stock. That strength never occurred. AHS, as a result, does not look bullish anymore. So we're going to discontinue looking at that one. I told you I wasn't going to update China a lot, and I 
stand by that. However, the stock, I think, continues to act good. I'm going to hold my calls in there. I've got the September 5, so um, do with it what you will. I will update it from time to time when something happens in here, but on these up up 5 and 10 or down 5 or 10 cent days, I'm not going to bother to mention it. Medicine Company, symbol MDCO, Mary David, Charlie, Oscar. We saw a high of $21 a share today, so still no reason to get involved in the stock. What I do like, though, is the fact that it was able to make what looks like a higher low in here. And if it can add to that by making a higher high tomorrow and getting back above that 2102 level we've been looking at, then I think the stock is probably ready to go. That also puts it back above that five-day moving average. So we'll, we'll take a look at uh, MDCO again, but there should be no reason to be involved in that stock uh, right now, Medicines Company. NXG. Nancy, X-Ray, George, Northgate Minerals here. I had suggested that uh, you buy the stock above $3.78. It did trade above that level here. Our initial stop was to be at uh, $3.67. So now that we're in this stock right here, I think now that you want to raise your stop to, let's say, $3.74. We'll go just a little bit under there. So we're going to raise that stop to $3.74, giving us a risk of about a nickel. Um, so very low risk, and I'm still thinking that, you know, breaking this inverted head and shoulders pattern could get us up towards about 440 or so. Gold had a nice day as well, so that obviously probably helped the stock. As far as the shorts we were looking at, we had Check Free Corporation, symbol CKFR. I had wanted to short this stock, um, you know, near where it had closed yesterday. However, the gap lower. Uh, as I always say, don't chase these stocks lower when they gap like that. So no play in in check free today. I will not update that one again either. AMR, parent company of American Airlines, like they always say. Um, AMR broke down nicely today. What we were looking to do in there was to sell it short between 22 and 22.10. You did have a chance to get that on the open. So I'm going to say that we're in this stock. And right now you want to put your stop at uh, just above this high. This high is 2140. So we're going to lower our stop down to 2142. 2142 is our current stop in AMR, and that's an open short position. And, uh, you know, no doubt, uh, maybe, um, uh, not no doubt, but perhaps higher oil prices, USO, we're looking at right here. Um, help that short position. This is the USO on a 10 minute time frame. And it was able to, you know, it's been whole, it, it just got above that five day moving edge. But oil is now looking bullish on a shorter term time frame. In particular, if it can get above this level here, $70 and 40 cents and hold for about 10 minutes or so on the USO. So that's something to keep an eye on. And I think that would help the uh, short position in um, AMR. NTAP, N-T-A-P is a symbol here. The company's name is Network Appliance. And I had suggested selling this short, short below 29.48. We see it open around 29.50. So you should have been involved right around, let's say, 29.45. And right now, I think your stop should go at break even. So lower your stop in NTAP to break even. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. That's going to do it for this wrap right now. I'm going to upload this to uh, YouTube, and I will have another video for you this afternoon or this evening. Thank you.